Let's head to Fresh Meadows. Andrew joins us. Andrew, you're on a fan. How you doing? Hello, JJ. A long time no talk. How have you been? What's up, Andrew? I'm doing all right, man. Hanging in there. Well, uh, I'm doing all right. Quickly, before I talk about Syracuse, with regards to what you said earlier, I'm not going to let this whole FBI thing damper me. I'm excited for Selection Sunday. I'm looking forward to seeing the brackets coming out on the 11th. You know, I don't want it to damper me, you know? I agree with that, Andrew, and I'm with you 100%, and I'll react the same way that you do on Selection Sunday, going through the bracket, seeing who's got a chance to make a run, who is a double-digit seed that maybe could surprise. I'm with you, but you have to wonder now if the entire business and the operation of college basketball is drastically going to change because of it. I think it's a fair question to ask. Well, that's going to have to be debated after the tournament, hopefully, but... My question about Syracuse is, I understand that it was a tough loss to North Carolina, but let me ask you something, and let's do a little bit of bracketology here. Does Syracuse at all have any chance to at least make the March Madness tournament? Oh, they sure do. I mean, right now, they're right on the bubble. You might see them in Joe Lenardi's last four in, or in Jerry Palm's last four in. They have three games left in the ACC. They got Duke on Saturday at Duke. Probably not going to win that game, but it's a chance to move the needle. Then they have a game at Boston College Wednesday. They close the season at home against Clemson. I would say for Syracuse to make the dance, Andrew, they got to go 2-1 and down the stretch. And I think in order to be safe, they'd probably have to win that first game within the ACC tournament. But to answer your question, yes, Syracuse absolutely has a chance to get in the field. All right, and another quick question is, who are the other three teams that are in the bubble other than Syracuse? Oh, there are so many. St. Bonnie's right now I think is on the right side of it. Louisville may be on the wrong side of it. Penn State may be on the wrong side of it. Baylor may be on the right side of it. Th- to try and figure that out now is impossible. It's February the 24th. We got two weeks to go. And remember, the small conferences, West Coast Conference, Gonzaga's conference, right? St. Mary's conference. They're both going. If a school like San Diego ever won the thing, that takes away a bid. If you had a Middle Tennessee State lose their conference, that steals a bid. So that bubble could shrink considerably between now and then. See, it's nice to actually talk about Selection Sunday and the NCAA tournament and not FBI investigation. Not what this time of the year should be about. But... This investigation, unfortunately, to Andrew's point, yeah, I'm still going to be giddy and excited for the start of March Madness. I am every year. But this could have major ramifications. Who plays? Who doesn't? Who coaches? Who doesn't? Who's involved? Who's not involved? A lot, a lot of variables. And you can't ignore that. 